GTI is an R&D and training organization for the energy industry and is also the industry center for keyhole technology innovation. Utilities, highway agencies, and municipal transportation officials are faced with the task of continually repairing and maintaining buried utilities in a timely, cost-effective manner. One method that's been developed to meet these needs is keyholing. Keyholing is a minimally invasive, low-impact way to access buried utilities for the purpose of locating, inspecting, or to perform utility operations through the use of specialized long-handled tools. This video demonstrates coring the pavement. It's important to follow all safety procedures laid out by your company while performing these operations. This video is merely intended to serve as a guideline. It's important to ensure that your coring drum is perpendicular to the horizon and not the road surface. The coring truck will have rear stabilizers that need to be set to help keep the machine level to the horizon. This is done to prevent the coring drum from binding as it cuts. Once you've lowered the drum into position, use the control wheel to start your cut and score the pavement. After the pavement is scored, slide an impact plate on top of the core. This will help prevent damage to the surface. It's important to remember not to force the drum down. Maintain a slow, constant pace to prevent damaging the teeth of the drum. Use the pilot hole in the core to lift it out of the pavement with a core puller. Set the core aside to be reinstalled after completion of the keyhole operation. Once you're done underground, the first essential step to core reinstatement is the backfill. Backfilling is using dirt or gravel to refill the hole. Always backfill per company or jurisdictional requirements. Once the hole is filled up and tamped down, you're ready to reinsert the core. It's important to do a dry measurement with the core by placing it in the hole before any bonding agent is added. The ideal difference in level between the top of the core and the pavement should be about one half inch. Now it's time to mix the bonding compound. Fill the bucket up to the fill line with water and pour the bonding mix in. Always mix per manufacturer instructions. Mix it well until all the dry material is taken on a creamy consistency. Carefully lower the core into the hole and then gently rock the core down. If performed correctly, you should see the excess mixing compound slowly rise up. The top of the core should sit slightly above the roadway. Gently push it down to make it level with the surrounding pavement. Now scrape off the excess bonding compound and make sure the core is clean and even with the roadway. Wait roughly 15 minutes or until the surface of the bonding material has dried. Then wash off the surface. The roadway can be reopened in 30 minutes. For additional videos on keyhole technology, visit www.gtikeyhole.com. The development of this video is made possible with the support of our Keyhole members.